Jeff Flushing, I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Play Spider Man. Welcome you back to the Pirates well, of the Caribbean. Well, well, basically, you are a pirate of the Caribbean. Well, last we left off, we found um, a little bit of the location of my sister, and I am going to try my luck on finding her. And I started going the wrong way, I was like, yeah, let's go to the north. And no, Tortuga will come later, and Port Royale will rent we'll save those places later. Now, I'm saving my sister. That's what I'm doing. And also, somebody commented on the previous video about... Um, I told... I did, did keep saying that I have a hunch on where she might be, and they're like, Oh, do you think it's in this area? I'm like, come on. Just let me have my hunch. Don't go right blurting out where it might be. I want to keep it as a surprise to everybody as if my hunch and instinct is correct about the game. Or the map. Or anything. Don't ruin my fun! No, I wouldn't. Anyway, I mean, it's good to know that people have the same kind of instincts with the game as I do. When you look at the map. Well, you first look at the map in the game where she might be located, and then you look at look at the map of the game. Well, that's the Santa Marta and Rio de la Hacha that we just passed by. Well, let's actually see cities. So Santa Marta, Rio de la Hacha. Rio de la Hacha is the full name. That's the 18,001 fort. 140 soldiers. Eee. No, sir, thank you. How about Santa Marta? 2,000 only. How about Cartagena? That's coming up. That's in the south. <laughs> yeah, I could, I, you could say that it's wealthy. How about Panama? Okay, I don't know anything about it. Um, uh, Puerto Bello, that's also down there. Prospering with 4,000 gold. I would say that they're starving. Not a very prosperous town with that much gold and a couple of forts. They're pleased. Good. I'm a pirate, as you can see. I go all the seas and a sea, sea, sea. It is a Spanish ship, what should we do? Close for battle! Let's take the sloop and destroy this son of a bitch. Well, maybe not destroy it, but you know. Wreak havoc upon it! Well, and at least they struck their colors. Good. They've struck their colors, Captain! <laughs> Keeper, I'll sell the ship. I mean, it's not very good to have so many ships under your banner because they start slowing you down a lot, even if you have the skill of navigation. Pretty much, the skill of navigation doesn't really help you getting faster at sailing, it just helps you not to crash in the shallow waters. That's all it really does. Just makes you it makes the navigating through shallow waters easier. Shallow waters is when you see the cyan a little like uh, foam on the water and such. That's shallow waters, and if you don't have the skill in navigation, you can easily just crash a ship there. Okay, mapity map. Is this the location that I'm thinking of? Yep, this is it. We were correct. This is it. So I'm watching right next to the water. Yep. And it's Christmas Day. Well, it's not going to be Christmas Day as we find her, but it's close to it. It's Happy New Year! We found you. Yeah, pretty much. Happy New Year! Let us find our sister! 
on January 21st. Yay! Your sister is rescued after years of searching. You are ye one year of searching. You are at last reunited. I have a mysterious and exciting tale. I have a mysterious and exciting tale to tell. Your sister exclaims. Gotta remember, I'm French. My sister, sister few. Exotic sister. Many years ago, the Spanish plundered the in ancient Inca capital. While transporting the great treasures to Spain, a treasure galleon found the road and sank. By luck and craft, I acquired part of a map that is this incredible, incredible treasure. Man, it's hard to do a French accent when you're trying to do a female voice at the same time. Oh, that could be anywhere. That could be right under Havana. Could be under Puerto Principe. I think that's under Puerto Principe. That's the only shape that I can tell from the man that where it would fit perfectly. The other place would be... No, that's probably Puerto Principe because that's where we found the uh, first treasure. That I went for and had shallow waters exactly like that. Shadow, should I go for it right away? It's just straight north. Let's go for it. I know where it is, so let's go. After three days of fruitless trade, we no, we weren't looking for treasure. Happy New Year. We weren't looking for treasure, just looking for my sister. At least they're pleased. Even though I wouldn't think that they would be pleased because there's a woman on board. Pirates don't be like it when, be, when they're be winch on board the ship. It's their superstition from ye old days that if you have... They don't like it when there's a female aboard the ship. Is this place uh, available? Santa, Can uh, Santa Catalina. Yeah, there it is. Because it's Santa Catalina that is under Spanish control. Well, it's been since 1640. 1620, it's under English control. It's called Providence. But we will not be going there for selling ships or trading. Because it's a Spanish place. How much uh, cash did we have? How many gold? How many gold is we have? Two, 22. 22,000. If I go to... Santa Catalina, I could talk to the governor if he talks to me about paying them for the atrocities that I've done. And it's if it's under 10,000, I might actually pay it. We see shallow water. Why did I say cyan? It's just white, you know, sparkles. When there's sparkly water, that means that there's ground to be found. Or not. Might have gone away still maybe a bit too much to the east. A lot of shallow water in here. Maybe that was Santa Catalina. It just has sunk into the oceans. Like uh, Atlantis is said to have done. I mean, it's um, quite a bit to the west if I wanted to get to Santa Catalina. Yeah, that wasn't. That's way behind. This is where. Port Royal, aka Santiago de la Vega, is. I'm not gonna try to take that back. I'm not gonna try to get it uh, under the French. Somebody actually did say DE, was it? I think DE was the one who said that there is a way of getting it. Yep. 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 Uh. So he said that there is a way of. Conquering a city back under your flag. There is a way of doing it. You just have to do a land attack to a city and hope that they actually just uh, run away, flee in terror. And if the governor runs away and flees in terror, then you can choose which flag you want to make the town under. Yep, it's right here. Right here. That's gonna be like 10,000 gold, maybe. 
maybe even more. The Inca treasure is a lot. I wonder if they're ecstatic. Yeah, look, they're happy. I think I need to get to Port the Peaks or Port the De and divide the plunder. Did we crash? With your jarring crash, one of your ships grinds onto a shallow reef and rapidly fills it with water. Yeah. My skills of navigation did not help me there. So when, which one did we lose? Didn't lose any men, but we lost a bark. Okay. Not a big loss. We lost uh, some uh, cannons as well, but not a big loss. I just found 100,000 gold. I don't care. I can buy a new ship if I want it to. There's Santiago. I just want to get to Port the Pakes, divide up the plunder, start a new expedition. You need to divide up the plunder every now and then. Don't worry, we're happy. I don't need to attack anybody right now. But as I was saying, you need to divide up the plunder every now and then to keep your people happy. Because they will get mutinous because you your expedition is taking too long. And I want to see these, not maps. Leo gun, Leo gun, Leo gun. Because Leo gun is right there. I'm right close to it. And there's also Petit Goave. Both are under French flags. Good. Investigate. Let's see. A pinnace, a tiny, tiny, fast ship. Hail for news. Let's see what's been happening in the few months that I've been away. New gold mine in Eleuthera, new governor, yeah. Ply, pirates plunder Kumana and new gold mine in Santa Marta. Where is Santa Marta? I think it's... No, it wasn't close by. Santa Marta is down there, right? Yeah, I just went by Santa Marta. God damn it. Well, they just found it in February. Okay, they just recently found it. Good thing I didn't attack it. Santa Marta is the uh, one of the towns that I went by when I was looking for my sister. So there's Leogon and Petit Gav. Interesting that they're both on the same side. Let's go to Legon. Leogon. Sail into harbor. So, what do you have to say for me? We're at war with Spanish and English, all right? Same shtick. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful daughter. Presently courted by Duke Finidon, but she seems interested in you. I want to marry her, because she's beautiful. I would get the best score of marriage if I... Let's make pleasant conversation. <laughs> pleasant conversation for now. No thanks. No need to. How do I have a. Oh god, I lost a lot of money because we crashed. No! <laughs> I lost 50,000 gold in one of the ships because I. So I'll see you in the next video as I restart where I left off last time. I'm gonna do this video again. I'm gonna do the same things. I'm gonna find my sister. Then we're gonna find the Inca treasure. Hopefully it's in the same place. I highly doubt it because it's usually random. And I am not going to lose a freaking ship. That hurts. 
50,000 gold lost because of crashing. That hurts. So I am not tolerating this bullshit. So thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you suffered with me. Hopefully that hurts your heart as much as it does mine. And hopefully we will do better on the next video. And I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye. Yeah.